when I listen to your music, I'm thinking of its message, and it is love life, enjoy life. So please. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. Thank you for that. <laughs> it <laughs> is. We've had a lot of fun with singing and hearing good music. Yeah, what was what was the scene like and what were the people like when you sang like this? Oh, we were told what to sing and how to sing it, right? but <laughs> we were singing since we were little kids. It was just part of our life and we just we still enjoy it. But when the two of us when my sister Anne and I get together, We do a little harmonizing and, you know, sing along with the, whatever's going on. And so it's just part of life. It's just, it makes us happy. It makes us happy to sing. Our dad started us when we were very little children. Why was music in your heart? How did you feel music in your heart? I think music is the best thing in the world to have in your heart. It just keeps you in a happy mood and it's great. You get other people to join you and... It's great fun. How did you feel harmony in music and harmony in life, the four of you? Oh, it's wrapped up around us all the time. We have a lot of good harmony between us now. And when all the sisters were around, we had uh, we always had a good, really good time. And, and we all enjoyed what we did. We were so lucky to, to be in that kind of a position to to be able to enjoy doing what you do, you know. And I suppose you get the same kick when you find some new kind of a person or new sounds that you hear. It probably works the same way for you. You get so excited when you hear something that was that kind of turns you on a little bit and it makes you feel like there's something new coming along all the time. <laughs> so anyway, it's just wonderful. When... You sing about happy feelings. We also take into account these times back in the 30s and the 40s that were really times of hardships, the war and the economic depression. Oh, yeah. War is the worst. It's absolutely, and it's such a bring down. How did music help people back then? Music changes everybody's moods. And it's it's wonderful. Happy music makes uh, everybody smile and everybody enjoy and everybody tries to sing, to sing along and it, that's good too. And they're they're tapping their feet or whatever they're doing. It passes on to other people. You get to share it with other people too, and it, it, that's that's part of it. Everybody likes different kinds of music, but uh, music just just makes people's lives happier than anything. You're saying this from the perspective of the singer. What about from the perspective of the listener? How did music help you in life? Oh, well, we love to listen to good music. You know, but we have a tendency to go with the swing, the old swing music. That's what we kind of like the best. And I, I don't know if it'll stay on, if we'll always like that kind of music best, but I imagine we will because it's the way we were brought up. <laughs> That's for sure. We just sat, we were singing since we were little kids. My dad wanted a lot of music around him, so he would help us and make us listen to, to oh, other people's music and try to pass it along and try to get us to appreciate all kinds of music. So that was uh, my dad's fault. <laughs> If it's a fault, I don't know. I, yeah. But anyway, he, we started singing together when we were very little, little kids. Now, our whole family is musical. My grandparents and all, all their children, our aunts and uncles, they, they all were musical. Either played an instrument or they sang or they did something musically. When we were children, the Boswell sisters were the big hit. And we, Daddy would sit us down in the front room and he'd play their records for us. And then he'd teach us the songs. And then we'd learn how to harmonize from listening to them. The first impulse to sing, when did you feel that this would be your life? No, oh, I don't know. I think it was instilled in us, so we never thought about thinking of it. <laughs> we just did it. 
when when I got out of high school, I thought I want to hit the road here. <laughs> I want to get out among them and hear more, and dreamed of, of having a career of it, and and we all did. When we got out of school, a uh, high school, my dad took us down and we took a train and went to New York and decided we were going to, you know, <laughs> we're going to be discovered or something. But it didn't didn't come quite as easy as that. <laughs> we went from North Dakota to New York, so it, it was quite a different little scene there. But anyway, we met nice people and they they helped us along the way too. And we were just so, so lucky in so many things and had a lot of opportunities and it was a beautiful thing to have happen to you. <laughs> I don't know if it still happens, but I guess it does to some people too. We know the fairy tale that you got discovered by Tommy Dorsey. You got signed by Tommy Dorsey the moment he heard you. And from moving from North Dakota to New York, we know that you left North Dakota and that uh, you were signed by Tommy Dorsey. But we don't know what is in between. We traveled with the USO for about a year after we went first went to New York. We went all over the country. We didn't get out of the country, really, but we were about to, and and then Tommy Dorsey came along and hired us, and it was that was good. Yeah, that was good. <laughs> that <laughs> he was, was very, very nice to us and taught us a lot. He had a, a thing about breathing. Don't take a breath anywhere. <laughs> he he could hold out a phrase, you know, probably half of a whole song playing his the horn and he thought singers should have the same kind of air and it, it, he he said you take a breath you're I'll bounce you right off this stage <laughs> <laughs> so we were threatened so we we think we learned something from him because he he was so intense that we didn't breathe every time we felt like we needed it we just had to carry a phrase longer than we had ever dreamed of taking but uh, anyway it was just part of our education and it was fun <laughs> we had a great time please tell us more about these lessons with other band leaders that you have worked with what stayed with you as most important and what did you really take with you in terms of uh, mastering the art of singing Oh, I'm not sure we've quite mastered it, but <laughs> we tried. And uh, But we got a lot of advice from Tommy, for sure, because he really was a stickler for everything had to be right with him. So we we tried to please him, and I, I guess we did for three years. <laughs> and anyway... It, we moved on from there, and he moved on from there. But we were surrounded by such musical people. The, the orchestra was such... Everybody had been such good music students and all that stuff. They were very helpful to us. And yeah, all the guys in the band really were good players, every one of them. And we had such players in the band. It, with Nelson Riddle was playing in the trombone section. And we had Buddy DeFranco playing with us, and Buddy Rich, and all those great big names. They were all in that band. He had the cream of the crop. <laughs> it was it was really nice to be influenced by those people, too. They helped us along if they thought we would, there was a way for us to do it better. You got a lot of advice, but don't breathe there. Don't take a breath there. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, we'll try. <laughs> But anyway, it was it was a good learning lesson, and and Tommy was very good to us. He said, "You take take a breath there. I'm gonna drop kick you right out the front door." <laughs> <laughs> so we were very careful about where we were breathing. <laughs> But it was one way of educating us, I guess. But it was fun. We have always had a good time. You can't be unhappy if you're singing all the time. That's the truth. Keep yeah. singing. Keep <laughs> singing. Tell the world to keep singing. It brings out happy things and not bad ones. That's right. 
that's our attitude. We just think everybody should sing, and, and a lot of people do. So we are talking about life with music and life in music. What is the magic of it? How do you feel it? Oh, boy, I don't, I don't know what the magic of it is. If you love music, you've got it. I can't begin to tell you what else it has to offer, but it, it keeps you moving and it keeps you moving in a good way. Well, it affects your whole life because if you like singing, it just makes you happy, even if you're not too good. Everybody gets happy when they sing. It's a good thing to be doing. <laughs> I say, I recommend it for everybody. <laughs> just sing anything you even in well i don't know how to sing oh sure you do everybody does even if it's not good it's happy and it gets other people happy too so it's a wonderful thing when i'm talking to you i am talking to legends and when you mentioned some names before you were mentioning names of legends what does it take to make a legend how how do legends come by whoever knows that you're making a legend i don't <laughs> i don't think any of us felt that way we just enjoyed the music and if it, if some of it turned out good for other people that's wonderful we just loved what we were doing and i think everybody on that band was love what they were doing and we got to travel around and see different parts of the country and uh hear different people doing different styles that, that other than what we were doing and we learned a lot from everybody that we heard singing because there were different styles and it was just always fun so much it, fun Greg. you got it yeah <laughs> you grew up with music you sang oh, yes. all your lives and also you fell in love with musicians so how did yes. <laughs> how was music part of your personal life oh well it was it was there whole... every one of us married musicians does that tell you anything <laughs> indeed that's why i'm asking my dad says there are other people you know in this world <laughs> he wasn't he, he wasn't too sure that a musician was going to be able to provide for us and we were very lucky because I, every one of us had a very nice and very successful playing instruments and and so we were just very 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 lucky that's the right thing you got to be hanging out with people that understand what you're doing and trying to do what they're doing and so it was very educational <laughs> anyway we had such a great yes, it was great it was a great life we've had so so much fun and everybody anybody on a band is happy you know they're the musicians are very happy if they're, especially if they're working <laughs> and getting paid <laughs> it helps <laughs> yes it does yep that was fun It was fun. I don't know. Just had had a lucky time. When you're singing, you're always happy. <laughs> you got that right, Peg. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Singing brings music to your heart. 